A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, January 26th. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Congressman Pat Ryan delivered a $375,000 grant to the town of Poughkeepsie Police yesterday to bolster the department's community policing efforts. The grant, administered by the U.S. Department of Justice Community Oriented Policing Services, or COPS, program, will enable the town to hire three additional police officers who will join the 83 current sworn town of Poughkeepsie Police. Chief Joe Cavallari noted that he's spent several years trying to obtain the grant funding with no success until today. We will now be able to create a unit with dedicated officers who will be able to concentrate on the problem areas and find solutions and not be bouncing back and forth because they are tied to emergency calls for service or regular calls for service. The new community policing unit will bolster the department's ability to address chronic crime, increase community outreach, and significantly strengthen public safety in Poughkeepsie, says Ryan. Sister Ann Sakak, the longest-serving president of Mount St. Mary College in Newburgh, passed away on Wednesday, the college announced. She was 91. Sister Ann served as president of the college for 32 years, beginning in 1976, but she was part of the college community since 1969 as a professor of English and assistant dean of students. She stepped down from her role as president in 2008, but continued to be part of the college community for the next 15-plus years. Sister Ann Sakak was unbelievably supportive of me when I got to the campus as chaplain, and that support continued when I was named interim president, said Father Grigori Fluitt, current interim president. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. A joint investigation has led to the arrest of a Monroe man in connection with violent crimes in the city of Port Jervis and the town of Deer Park. It's alleged around 2 p.m. on December 22nd, Sharif Brown, who's 31, restrained a 21-year-old woman against her will from her Deer Park home, where he allegedly took her phone locked the car doors and struck her several times with a closed fist and forced her to a town of Newburgh Hotel, where a third party intervened, assisted the victim in leaving and reported the incident to town police. It's also alleged that at around 2.40 in the morning, on December 31st, he entered a private residence on Ball Street in Port Jervis, broke several windows, and struck a household member with a baseball bat. He then allegedly engaged in a physical altercation with several other people in the residence, where he also threatened several of them with a knife. Brown was arrested on January 24th in the village of Monroe. The city of Newburgh will hold a flag-raising ceremony on Thursday, February 1st, to mark the beginning of Black History Month and to recognize and celebrate the central role of black and African Americans in shaping and strengthening America. The Pan-African flag is a tricolored flag of three equal horizontal bars of red, black, and green, first adopted in 1920. The flag-raising ceremony will be held at 3.30 in the afternoon at Broadway Park, also known as Downing Vaux Park, located at the intersection of Broadway and Colden Street. The Orange County District Attorney's Office is commencing an immigrant affairs initiative by holding a virtual session to brief immigrants as what their rights are if victimized. D.A. David Hoover says everyone who's victimized by a crime, regardless of their status, has rights. This workshop that we're putting on in conjunction with Catholic Charities and the New York State Office for New Americans is a start. Um, you know, every crime victim in America deserves to have their voice heard, and we will work 
with anybody to suppress crime and see that crime is reported. The session on Zoom will be held January 31st at 6 p.m. John Perry was appointed Town of Hurley Deputy Supervisor during a town board meeting. The board's vote to appoint him to a two-year term at an annual salary of $2,500 was unanimous. Perry was Town of Hurley Supervisor for two terms and in his new role will serve as a non-voting member of town government. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.